Hey there, cyber enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, your gateway to the world of cybersecurity. Today, we're diving into a murky corner of the cybercrime world, ransomware as a service, or RAS. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay informed about the latest cyber trends. Let's get started. Ransomware. It's a type of malware that encrypts your data and demands a ransom to decrypt it, or in some cases, holds your data hostage with the threat of releasing it publicly. But what if I told you that cyber criminals have evolved and turned this into a full-fledged business model? Welcome to the world of ransomware as a service. Ransomware as a service operates much like regular software as a service, but it's, you know, illegal and malicious. In RAS, the ransomware operators, who are basically the developers, write and maintain the ransomware software. They then offer this service to their affiliates, who are essentially their customers. These affiliates don't need to be cyber geniuses. They can launch attacks without having to possess any technical skills of their own. They simply rely on the skills of the operators. It's a worryingly efficient way to spread cybercrime. Some examples of RAS kits include Locky, Goliath, Shark, Stampedo, Jokeroo, and Encryptor. But let's get to the heart of the matter. How much does it cost to launch a ransomware attack? The cost of RAS can range from as low as $39 to as high as $400 but the actual cost can vary greatly. Many of these operators employ a help desk and other customer support options, just as most businesses do. They also have terms of service, as they too need to protect their brand. I'd hate to find out what happens if you violate their terms of service. I think I'd be reading that one, and not just simply scrolling to the end. What's most concerning is that RAS has made ransomware attacks more accessible and widespread. It's like outsourcing cybercrime. And as more and more people get into this illicit business, the frequency and scale of ransomware attacks are only expected to rise. For an example of how ransomware can impact an institution, the All India Institute of Medical Science, or AIMS, in Delhi, faced a major cyber attack in November of 2022. The attack took all of AIMS servers offline. Not long after a breach was detected, the hospital's digital patient management system was crippled, forcing the institute to operate manually. With AIMS serving a large number of patients annually, the data at risk included sensitive information like names, medical history, addresses, and more. The hack caused major disruption to hospital services, long lines formed as the online appointment system remained offline, and additional staff had to be deployed to help with the rush. Even after data restoration began, the servers remained offline for patients for over a week. It's a long process to ensure that no malware remains in the system after such an attack, Data of about 3 out of 4 patients may have been leaked, and it's still unclear who was behind the attack and whether the situation has been fully resolved. Ransomware attacks like these highlight the importance of cybersecurity measures, from creating awareness amongst users, enacting strong password policies, to maintaining multiple backups and updating systems regularly. Every step is crucial in preventing such attacks. That's all for today, folks. We hope you learned something about the darker side of the cyber world. Now don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Remember, stay safe out there.